Hey, what's up guys? It's your local neighborhood Hope dealer. Came out here, I drove in my car over here to Kate Sessions Park real quick. You know, this is day five of the uh, coronavirus for me and I'm still feeling under the weather. Like today I slept almost most of the day. You know, it's continuing to give me congestion and all that. But you know, hey, we're still alive and we're well and I'm redeemed and I'm sober and I'm super thankful to be alive right now and, and be on a whole nother course of life, guys. So thankful for that, all right? I just wanted to say also, you know, I have a YouTube channel. It's uh, Monty Mansfield Hope Dealer over on YouTube. If you guys would like to subscribe so I can get the word out there more on, um, you know, my story on how I got sober, how I followed the Lord and try to help other people be able to come out of the dark into the light, guys. All right, let's bow our heads in prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for everything that you do, Father. Please, Father, I ask you, I ask you as a personal favor to please put a hedge of protection over Big Mike Delgado. Please allow him to heal, Father. Please watch over his family, Father. Please, 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 I beg you, Father, as we all pray for Big Mike Delgado to have a good, healthy healing, Father, we please, please help him, Father. Please watch over my family, watch over my wife. My wife is not feeling good, Father. Please continue to help uh, me heal every day, Father. Please continue to give me the purpose and open doors for me to spread the good news. I'm so thankful for you. You saved my whole entire life and you gave me the momentum, Father, to turn my life around and be able to walk in a whole new direction. And I'm so thankful for that, Father. Please watch over every other addict. Give them the sense of desperation and the gift to be able to change their lives and come out of the dark, Father. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you do. And we love you with our whole hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Hey, so today I want to talk about the why, you know, the why behind your life, all right? The why behind your life, you know. I know back before uh, my, I came to the Lord, you know, the why in my life was, uh, oh, I want to be rich. I want to be famous. Oh, I want to have a bad car. Oh, I want to have a big house. Oh, I want to party. Oh, I want to drink. Oh, I want to uh, hang out with, with the girls in the club. I want to I want to play hard, party harder. You know, the why be behind everything that I did, it was like, a, it was like a, um, a tornado. It was like Tasmanian devil going full speed right into the ground. <laughs> That's what my life was like before I came to Christ, guys. And now my why as I, as I walk with the Lord is like, I want to say one person a day. You know what I mean? I want, I, I, I want, um, when I meet with, when I, when I come in contact with somebody, I want them to leave going, man, that's a really good guy. You know, I want to be able to save lives. I want to be able to share my testimony. I want to be able to, um, you know, my wiser, I want to be able to walk with the Lord every day. And, and I want to be able to have the energy that I have today, five years from now. I want to be able to have the purpose that I have right now, 20 years from now. You know, those are my whys now. My whys have changed. I want to be a great son to, son to my family. You know, I want to be a great uh, uncle to my nephews and nieces. I want to be a great brother to my, um, to my brothers. You know, I want to be an amazing cousin to my cousins. I want to be an um, awesome, amazing, loving, caring husband to my awesome wife who is loving and caring too. These are my whys now, guys. These are my whys. And I want to explain a little bit to where I heard a speech, right? I heard a speech from Donald Trump, right? He talked about the, one of the most important words in the world is momentum, momentum guys. And I, and I listened to this speech and it was awesome. And it, and it made a lot of sense to me because before I, I came to drugs and, and, and alcohol, before when I was younger, I had I had picked up a lot of momentum in baseball, and I carried me to a, it carried me a long ways, and I felt like I had momentum heading towards the major leagues, you know, especially in high school, guys. In high school, I felt like I picked up some momentum, like my junior year, and I just it was unbelievable momentum all the way until I was like 23 years old, and then I had my first struggles, and I told you my bout with the yips and being able to throw strikes. But I was continue to carry this momentum, right? And then when I believed the lie, the prescription drug lie in Adderall, it took me the momentum I would have to say, looking back in hindsight, from the moment that I tried amphetamine, the momentum took me into a direction away from being in the big leagues. So even though I continued to play for a few more years, the momentum that I had going towards the big leagues was now taken away from the big leagues, guys. And then when I was in my addiction, right, full-blown junkie, Right. The momentum was carrying me into a direction to where every door was closing. It's like every door closes on you till you end up being in like a tent or a garage and there's no doors to be open. But the Salvation Army will remain open. And it's like the last house on the block, guys. So when there's no one else that's going to give you any type of help, the Salvation Army remains open and you can change your life and you can find some momentum right there. And that's what happened to me, guys, is I was able to get some momentum from nothing. If I look back and can see how a, a full blown junkie could 
should get up and turn himself around and turn, walk into another direction and be the person that I am right now talking to you is because I gained momentum there, guys. And I started getting at the cross. I started praying for God's will and the strength to carry it out. I started seeing things change in my life and I started to gain momentum through the Lord. And then now this momentum has taken flight and now I have a momentum going into the right direction and now a whole bunch of doors have opened, guys. And it's like I said, you know, I dug a hole for years for years, right? So I barely filled this hole back up and I'm still looking up at the top of the hole, but I continue to uh, fill the hole and it could take years to get right at the even level because of so many years that I spent digging a hole of myself, you know, but there was a thing that I picked up in the Salvation Army guys and it was straight momentum. All right. You have to be able to get momentum and your higher power. When, when the Lord comes into your life, he can start to give you that momentum to dig yourself out of that ditch and get up and find purpose and be able to spread the good news. And now you can continue to get momentum going in the right direction guys. And that is one of the biggest words I've ever heard. And I heard that on a speech from Donald Trump, from Donald Trump. And it was an amazing, he talked about a guy, he talked about a gentleman who was like big inside the engineer or uh, construction world, right? The guy owned everything and he got out and he retired. But when he retired, he, he stopped, he fell out of love or he still wanted to be back in that world, right? So he retired and he wanted to get back into that world. And the minute that he came back into that world, he could not get nothing going. He lost everything. And, he, and, and Donald Trump seen him at a dinner and he talked to him and he told Donald that the one thing that he lost when he retired is he lost the momentum that he had. And he's never been able to get the momentum going forward again, guys. And that's where when we're trying to change our lives, guys, the Lord will give you the momentum to be able to change your life one day at a time, guys. One day at a time. All right. Here, I'm going to read out of my Jesus Always book, and then we're going to get the day going. It's already out. The day's almost over. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I still wanted to come and spread the good news. I cannot miss a day where I'm going to spread the good news to try to help another person on this planet, guys. So leave the outcomes up to me, guys. Leave all the outcomes up to him, all right? You got to be able to let it fly. Like, like Roger Clemens told me one time. I was in the locker room with Roger Clemens. I said, Roger, what's your approach? He said, I throw it and pray, son. And I was like, that. if I would have took that approach early on in my baseball career, it would have been amazing if I would have just thrown the ball and prayed and then that would have freed me up and allowed me to do exactly what I needed to do every day but leave outcomes up to me follow me wherever I lead about without worrying about how it will all turn out think of your life as an adventure as an adventure I like that with me as your guide and companion live in the now concentrating on staying in step with me, guys. We got to live in the now. We got to seize the now. We got to continue to walk in the light with the spirit. And you know, when I think of walking in the light with the spirit, I think of me having all my integrity, hiding nothing from nobody, and then having the Holy Spirit being able to uh, give me strength, strength in my weakness, and then the Holy Spirit giving me my strengths. And I feel like that is, that is that when, when I do that, I'm a full human being, fulfilled, able to fulfill my purpose on this planet. And that's why I love that saying, walking in the light with the spirit. Thank you. Uh, uh, think of your life as an adventure with me as your guide and companion. Live in the now, concentrating on staying in step with me. When our path leads to a cliff, be willing to climb it with my help. When we come to a resting place, take time to be refreshed in my presence. Enjoy the rhythm of life. Live close to me. You already know the ultimate destination of your journey, your entrance into heaven. So keep your focus on the path just before you, leaving outcomes, leaving outcomes to me. John 10, 4, Psalm 20. 27, 13, 14, Exodus 15, 13, guys, leave the outcomes up to the Lord. I'm telling you guys, God has brought in me from glory to glory. And now I have a lot of confidence because he gives me little pots of gold that I can see every single day that I'm on the right path. And because we're made in the image of God, guys, I'm able to now understand and I'm able to keep fulfilling myself with the living water and the living bread. And I know that this is the way and this is the truth. And I'm so thankful for that, guys. Please let's continue to put Mike Delgado in our prayers every single second, guys. And please continue to help the Delgado family so they can be strong through this time. All right. And I'm so thankful to get up here and spread the good news. Sorry, I got my video out of a little bit late today, but better late than never, baby. So you guys have a great day. All right. And let's remember, let's choose God's will always just for today. Today matters. Thank you guys.